Hey everybody, Ryan, host of the Toxic Home Transformation and co-founder of the Stern Method. And this is my wife, Teddy, and mom to our two kids. Ryder and Channing, who has taken a nap. You may remember a bit of our story, how we came to be talking to you here from the summit. In May of 2014, Ryder was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Our world was rocked to the core. Being first time parents, we really thought we were doing everything right. We bought organic food, mostly non-toxic products, and saw a naturopath for just about everything. But when we took a hard look at our environment, we started questioning if it could have been a catalyst to Ryder getting sick. Mind you, the cancer in Ryder started in the womb, but in Teddy's job, she was surrounded by EMFs, she was under a ton of stress, and those are both known cancer-causing factors. After Ryder was born, we lived in a townhouse sandwiched between our neighbors and didn't know enough to be buying non-toxic household products all the time. In fact, even when we moved into a house when Ryder was four months old, we were becoming more aware of our surroundings, but when Ryder was diagnosed around 11 months old, we still filled up two giant garbage bags of common household products with chemicals in them immediately because the naturopathic doctors and coaches we hired to guide us through knew how overlooked yet crucial to healing environment is. So from the beginning, we made it a priority. And from there, we just got more tuned into our surroundings. We started researching how we could create the most optimal healing environment possible. And after moving states to find a team that would work with us and take a far less aggressive conventional approach than our former team, we stumbled across this piece of land in the middle of the mountains covered in aspen trees and only minutes to Whole Foods. We started making plans to build the healthiest home that would support Ryder's healing and help our whole family thrive. It took a lot longer than we planned, but if we've learned anything along the way, good things take time to work towards. This past year, we finally broke ground and teamed up with Andy Pace of the Green Design Center who a top building biologist who helped us make the best healthy choices for our home while staying close to budget. We've had a few setbacks and have had to jump through a few hoops, but our house is finally nearing completion. We learned so much in these past four years and it really does take our breath away to look back and see just how far we've come. To see Ryder when we started out to where he is now has been by far the greatest blessing. Even though it hasn't been an easy road, we feel like our lives now have a purpose much bigger than us. What we've come to realize in our story is that to reverse cancer, you need to be certain you've removed the cause. We've made it our mission to help families fully realize the importance of this crucial component to healing. And moreover, we want to keep as many families as we can from going through what we went through in the first place. 100,000 is a big number. That's how many joined us in the Toxic Home Transformation. Families and individuals are understanding that you cannot have a healthy body inside of a sick home. We've made it our life's mission to make this information accessible for everyone willing to put in the work to create a safe haven for their family and thrive inside of a toxic world, whether they're reversing cancer or avoiding it in the first place. The number one question we received throughout the summit was, with all the different products and strategies to choose from on how to make your home the healthiest place it can be, what do you yourselves use? So the list below this video is our attempt to answer that question in the areas we were asked about most. If you're curious about something that's not on here, just ask us in the comments and we will let you know.